Okay, so my attention signal is still the same clapping rhythm. I clap it, you clap back. And then this lesson is made for like freshmen in high school, uh, like if you didn't take it sophomore, but it's, it's like a health lesson. Tony, because you probably can't read my handwriting, could you read the objective on the board? Good. All right. So, does anyone want to say what nutrients are? Nobody. Reese. Uh, different things we need for our body. Uh, different intakes of food and, and drinks. Like right. Food. It's what you take th in through your body through food, drinks, anything that you put in, and then your body uses those to get out. So. In your each groups, I want you to tell each other what you know about different nutrients, uh, what kind of foods you eat, and what nutrients they have, and just kind of your general knowledge uh, with your shoulder partners. Um, Alex, you can go first. Mallory, you can go first. You'll have 30 seconds. Uh, and then you two groups, I'll split you up next time, and you guys will go 15 seconds apiece. And begin. Okay, and the next person, go. And switch. Yes, switch. Okay, so what kind of nutrients did we come up with? Marie? Um, we talked about bananas. What, what do you think is in bananas? Potassium. Right. What about over here? Um, we talked about vitamins A, B, C, D. Right, vitamins and minerals are another <laughs> essential nutrient that we need. And over here? We discussed potassium, calcium, sodium, and like what they, what they came in, like, so like bananas, like the other groups are previously in there. Right, good. Right now, to start with, we're going to start with what are called macronutrients. And macronutrients have calories, and calories are what we need to get energy. So we need proteins, fats, and carbohydrates to get our calories in. And to show that, I'm going to show a quick video, and then we will move on. The basics. So we all know that the food that we eat contains calories, but looking into it more, we could consider calories as energy. We can split the energy into three main types known as macronutrients. These three are known as protein, carbohydrates, and fat. Let's take a look at protein first. Keep this in mind that for one gram of protein you have, there are four calories. So its main functions are growth and repair. So, let's look at an example. When we're in the gym, doing an intense workout with weights, after that hard workout, if we consume protein, it will help repair and rebuild those muscles. So what are its sources? Mostly meat contain the highest amount of protein, such as chicken, beef, and lamb, whereas other sources can include eggs, fish, nuts, and seeds. As a healthy guideline, we should have a combination of all of these sources. Moving on to carbohydrates now, just like protein, it has four calories per one gram. Now carbohydrates are our body's most preferred source of energy overall three. The main function of this macronutrient is simply providing us with energy to go through things such as physical activity like linen. Now carbohydrates can be broken down into two kinds, and it's simple and complex carbohydrates. In another video, we will go more in depth on this, but for now, let's just stick to 
unlike protein and carbohydrate, fat has nine calories per one gram, which I imagine is where some of the confusion comes from with it being more than double the amount of calories, so it's easy to see how too much can lead to weight gain. Now there are four types of fat, but today we aren't going to dive that deep into it. All we need to know in the basics is that its main functions are for being a backup energy source from when you have your carbohydrates. It also helps with things like hair, skin, and nail production, as well as hormone control. Sources of fat can come from fish, nuts, eggs, seeds, cooking oils, certain types of meat, like steak, and foods that include butter in the ingredients. Alright, we'll stop there. Alright, so going back over carbohydrates, what are they for, KK? Um, They're for energy. And some sources of carbohydrates are your rice, your pasta, anything that has whole grain or whole wheat is going to be carbohydrates. Next is fat. Tony, how many calories are in fat? Uh, nine per gram. Nine, per, calories. nine calories per gram. And now, what's interesting is that sometimes food can have both. So you get a food, some meats will have a lot of fat, but they'll also have a lot of protein. So sometimes, if you have to categorize them, they'll go in both categories. And Tanner, how many calories are in one gram of protein? Uh, four. Four. Yep. And so now, in your groups, we're going to go, we're going to practice. You're going to talk to your group, and then you're going to say what type of nutrient you think is in this avocado. Yep, talk to your group about it for a second. <laughs> All right, Erica, what did your group say? What's funny about the avocado is it's the fruit with the most fat. So avocados have a lot of fat in them. Next one. What about a chicken? Protein? I kind of heard everyone say protein. Yep. Cereal? Carbs? And rice? So now I have a worksheet for everyone. So on this worksheet, there you can see that it has three different categories, fats, carbohydrates, and proteins. And you are going to write down the different foods that go into each category. And you've got to remember that sometimes food can go into more than one category. So it could be right to put it in more than one. Okay. You got that? Yep. Sounds good. Yes. You want 12 total or 12 again? 12 total. Okay. Yep.
That's all I have.